Hi guys, um, this is our last example in single dimensional array. Okay, so our um, last example it's about on, on how we can get the maximum and minimum element of an array. Okay, so let me show again my IntelliJ one moment. Okay, there you go. Okay. So right now, I need to create, one moment, a new class. Then this is example four. Let me see if it's inside. No, it's not inside our, again, one moment. Uh, we need to move the class to this kind, this package. And refactor okay we have it here so okay let's start so let me maximize that and we will start imp um, importing the java the util that okay after that public static void main string args then the scanner here which is input again new scanner uh, sorry system dot in okay so after that uh, we need to create uh, variables like y the max the min also the size we don't forget we should not forget the size okay next system that out dot print l no print enter array size this is actually the same to our examples in our next up uh, in our previous um, videos next int next we have int array four then new int we need to put here the size plus one next should be system that out dot print ln I'm sorry print enter I'm sorry we need to put the size here ln Here, we'll start with our for loop. So, we already have our y there. So, y equals 0. Then, then y is less than the size. Semicolon, then y plus plus. Then, r ray from 4. Then input dot next in. Okay, one moment. I forgot to put the Y here. Okay, next one. So since I already established or I already assigned the input or the uh, the inputted value, the element to the array for Y. I will now assign max or I will now assign the first array four which is um, the zero index zero to be the max also the same as the minimum okay you will know that one later on okay next one so I will do the for loop here for the for loop I will also use I would still use the y and I will be assigning y to 1 and then uh, y it's less than the size then y plus plus okay next here if the r array 4 uh, which is the y um, yeah it's y in there it's greater than the max 
that's this is actually the purpose why I assigned the um, index zero here the array for index zero to max because we will be using that one here so if the array for y which is coming from here uh, one moment it's actually greater than the maximum so we are assigning the array for y to be the max because it's greater than right then we can also create another if here or we should create another if here for our minimum so this should be less than the minimum okay again this is we are actually comparing right now the um again the array for y or which is here which is coming from here if that is um if it's less than the minimum so all we need to do is to assign again the array um four which is the y to to minimum because again it is a minimum right it's a minimum element there you go so after that uh, we will try to let the user output um, the maximum value here so maximum sorry the maximum element is we will call the max here and the minimum here there you go okay so if you can see this example uh, we are actually since we already have the size here and we let the user input the element here we are actually assigning uh, we are in initializing um, the element zero to be the max and also the same as the minimum because here in the line 22 going down or to the line 31 um, it will break down so um, the um, the program itself will check if the um, the element um, from the array if it's greater than the array 4 or not greater than it really depends as well here okay so if it's greater than here we are assigning the array 4 y to the max and if it's less than we are actually assigning the array for still y to the minimum okay let's try running it so array size for example it's four so 23 mm -hmm. there. so if you can see um maximum element one moment oh that's why why you put it here I'm wrong sorry it should be outside the for loop here oh it should be outside the for loop okay there you go there let me run the code again stop it and run it we have four so 12 23 34 35 there the maximum element is 45 then the minimum element it's 12 we got it right <laughs> okay so since we're done with our last example or or on how to get the minimum and also the maximum element of an array uh, we will also proceed in in understanding the coding guidelines for um, using a java array or an array okay here so first things first it is better to create an array right away after you declare it okay so just like this it's better to create an array before you will declare it oh sorry after you declare it next the elements of an n element array have index from 0 to n minus 1 this is the one that I said earlier you cannot resize an array okay 
So, in our succeeding lesson, uh, we will proceed in multidimensional array, and I will show you how to code in tic-tac-toe.